Can you hear that? Can you hear it? No, you can't because the sound isn't there. I mean, the sound was there from the time that I started live streaming, but uh, you probably didn't pick it up because the microphone's not that sensitive. But of course, I could hear it. A fan that was constantly going. Not a fan inside my computer, but a fan inside the UPS. Uh, and uh, it was just uh, getting to the point where I, I was done. And, uh, you know, I, I realized that I needed a, a, a quieter UPS, UPS, uninterruptible power supply. The idea is, is that you could uh, you know, plug certain devices, like a computer or a monitor, into your UPS, into certain outlets, of course, that are earmarked uh, for keeping those devices on uh, so that if electricity drops, you know, from the outlet, uh, then your computer doesn't shut down and you can save your work. And uh, so what did I replace my UPS with? Another UPS, uh, that's right. I don't know if I'd consider an upgrade, a side grade, a downgrade, or what, but this is certainly a lot more quiet. I was using an APC branded UPS before. Uh, I've been happy with APC over the years. Certainly uh, do not uh, plan on changing my UPS brand at any point in the future. I'm not likely to even get rid of the UPS that I'm replacing just in case this one doesn't work out. I have every reason to believe it will. Uh, this is capable. It's a 750. Uh, 450, of course, 450 uh, watts is, is what it can handle, the juice running through it. This has 10 outlets versus my old one, which had, I believe, six. Uh, I'm probably going to max that out. But what I like about this one, and the reason why I decided to upgrade now, not just because of the noise, that really didn't push me to upgrade, although it's, it's a nice thing not to have noise. Uh, this is a, a new series from APC that is greener. So certain outlets here will actually stop uh, pushing electricity to devices that aren't using them. Effectively, it's saving you money. Now they say it saves on average $40 a year on your electric bill. I don't know about that with me because I'm always in front of my computer and always you know, using it. And I know that uh, even these 30 inch monitors when they're off uh, or when they're in power saving mode, they only draw one watt of power. And so I'm not, too concerned about it here, I got a few more of these for around the house uh, where we have other electronic equipment that we don't necessarily use regularly, if not even on a daily basis. Uh, so I could keep them plugged in without worrying about them drawing power and potentially costing us money. I mean, that's like money down the drain. So if you're looking into getting a UPS or upgrading your UPS, I would strongly recommend finding something, whether it's APC or not, finding something that has these types of master outlets that will allow you to plug in devices. And I am going to use, I got, I got, like I said, a few of these. I'm going to use another one over here. I don't know if you heard my printer whirring a couple of minutes ago. It was doing some kind of power check. Um, I want to plug my printer into uh, one of these UPSs because uh, it's not always working. I don't always, uh, you know, print every day and I know that it's drawing electricity. So maybe I'm going to save some money. Uh, I am not replacing a UPS there because I think I just have a, a regular old power strip. Of course, you can always use an extra power strip here, there, wherever. Um, but uh, I, I am I'm very much, uh, um, I guess, appreciative that APC and other, uh, assumedly, uh, UPS manufacturers have thought about this, uh, being able to toggle electricity, being pushed out to devices that really aren't using them. One caveat, you probably don't want to plug a USB hub into one of the master outlets that, you know, again, limits electricity or stops electricity altogether. The reason why is because if it's not detecting any usage from that USB hub, then it's going to shut power to it. And then of course your computer is going to, not going to be able to recognize the USB. And so plug a USB hub into, you know, another, um, I guess outlet here. This is the one that I ended up getting. It is, let's see if I can find the exact model number off oh, model number B E 750 G. If you go to tagjag.com slash B E 750 G, you can find more information and, and save money on it. See, that's one of the reasons why we set up Tag Jag. It's an easier way of finding uh, low prices or the best prices uh, for any product name. Try tagjag.com slash any product name and you'd be surprised at the results. And if you need to do a space in between words, you just use a little plus sign. See, just like Uncle John did. Just like Moose of Reason did. Love that handle. 
Uh, let's see here. Anything else to mention about this? Well, it comes with software. Duh. It's got uh, cable modem support, you know, as, as in like coaxial as well as uh, Ethernet uh, connectivity. Um, 10 power outlets. I mentioned that. It's, it's ultra efficient design, as they stated. You can't hear it. There's no fans. Love that. Uh, let's see here. It looks like it's got five battery backup with surge protection and five surge protection only outlets. Uh, USB connectivity, that's how you know it communicates with your computer. Telephone line, of course, RJ40, oh wait, RJ11. The ethernet is RJ45. Boy, it's been a while. Has anybody even used a phone line in recent years? Has any... I remember when UPSs came with uh, serial cables. Do you remember that? Any old way, uh, it'll run up to 70 minutes uh, max on the battery that this UPS comes with, and that, of course, is you know on a super efficient computer and a super efficient uh, screen. If you really want to save electricity, upgrade your monitors, uh, and of course, um, you know, start plugging devices into outlets uh, that um, you know could save you energy when you're not using the devices, of course. When you're using the devices, all bets are off. So there you go. Uh, this is, a, I guess, a pseudo review. I'm happy with this so far because it's not making any noise, just like a good UPS. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Maybe you've got other energy saving tips for me. And no, not talking is not an option. I know that saves energy, but I kind of, like I said, need to talk to do these video things. Can't just go, you know, that doesn't work. Not only because I'm holding the box upside down, but no one would get that. You're also welcome to stop by our community of geeks at geeks.perillo.com. Plenty of things happening there. Blogs, forums, photos, videos, reviews, views, questions, answers, you name it. If you're a geek, well, then you're probably already there. And if you're not already there, then I just can't consider you a geek. And if you're not in the chat room right now, well, then you probably have a life. Because it's now, what, 1.30 in the... No. Yeah, 1.30 in the morning. I'm sorry, I thought it said 2. I was going to really start freaking... I can't record videos at 2 in the morning. That's way too late. Or way too early. Hundreds of people waiting in the chat room, even now, at this time of night or morning, depending on how you look at it. But we're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, at live.perillo.com. Well, you... Later.